Thursday. We are now headed to Lisbon again for a full day. And I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. Peeling back the layers of the part I've been playing for you. Used to be so easy. Now I get queasy when things start going wrong. And in this life, we all know that the starting is the hardest part.
So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet Okay, so I haven't talked in a really long time and life has been really all over the place. I've been trying to study but also enjoy the new upcoming fresh season here in Lisbon. So this weekend I went to this bookstore in this very popular place in Lisbon. It's really pretty. It's the one with the bike. It has mostly Portuguese literature which is really nice. However, I feel like, and this is just my opinion, okay, so don't, <laughs> don't kill me over this, but I feel like most of the books weren't in a great condition, you know, you could just pass by and all of them had like cracked spines, the space was really beautiful and I feel like maybe the books are there just to complement the space and then the bookstore functions more through like online 
purchases. If I wanted to look for something in the bookstore, I could not find it. They could maybe organize the table better. I mean, I don't know. What, who am I to say anything? So I think you've seen these. I've recently purchased... How am I supposed to say these? These are part of a university Portuguese tradition that you give to family, friends, special loved ones, and they write on them and so you can have memories and they have different colors the yellow ones are for friends i think but i really just wanted one of every color so i bought a bunch of each and i really like the green ones because they have the different logo just happy that it's like a tradition that's coming true i think there's going to be a couple of celebrations in may or june i'm not sure but i'm ready it's going to be a good time it captures a lot of closure to this part of my life feels like things are coming to an end and it's like a good closing feeling. It's not too abrupt. Maybe when things start looking a little bit too final, I'll start feeling sad. But right now I'm just feeling like a good feeling of accomplishment. Just in case you're kind of confused with the timeline, I'm gonna end my rotations in May. Then in June, I'm going to deliver my final report of the year, which needs to be presented to a jury. Oh, I also have one exam to complete in May. In May? In June. In June. One exam, one report, and that's it. That ends the course. Um, and then I have my board exam in November and so I have a couple of months to study for my board exam so even if after I finish my course I have a couple of months to study for my board exam because it's like a really important exam that we have a lot of time to study for that's where I'm at just kind of ending my rotations until I jump on to just my study months which I don't want to sour or anything but I'm so excited to just have time to study because trying to juggle everything all at once is kind of difficult for me so i just cannot wait until i have nothing else to do but focusing on the board exam for months on end it's gonna be great oh. <laughs>